everyone so today's video is going to be uh, something new for me what I did last night was I went through my makeup collection and I took out all the pieces of makeup that I've either had for a while or um, that were samples so my goal in doing this is to shop my own makeup collection and use products that I haven't used in a while and also products that are close to being finished because I'd like to just get them out of my makeup collection. So I went through my whole makeup collection and I picked uh, a little bit of everything, I guess. This drawer here contains um, everything that I need to do a full face. So it's got foundation, it's got lip gloss, lipstick, concealer, eyeshadow. Um, and I also have a variety of each category just so then I have choices, I guess. Uh, so my plan is to use this drawer and this drawer only for about the next month. Try to really use uh, some of these products up and uh, as well as rediscover some old favorites. So this is going to be a shopping my uh, makeup collection part one. Um, I plan on doing these videos um, Every so often I'll go ahead and shop my makeup collection and kind of show you what products I have set aside to use. So there is a lot of items in this little drawer here so I may not go through everything but I'll hit the, um, the major highlights I guess. So first we'll start off with foundation. Um, the foundations that I put in here are pretty much just samples. Uh, all right. So I have a Lancome Miracle in uh, buff number six, sample of that. I have a sample of the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and I'm in Beige Ivory. I have a sample of the, I think this is the MAC Face and Body in C1. Uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay in Light. Makeup Forever HD in 117, and this is what I'm wearing today. A little sample of the our Urban Decay Naked Skin in 2.0. And then I've also included some tinted moisturizers. I have the e.l.f. tinted moisturizer. This is in porcelain. I think this has two, maybe three uses left, so this one is almost done. As well as the uh, Makeup Forever, I only have one use out of that little guy. And the other tinted moisturizer I have is the Kula uh, Face Mineral Sunscreen Tinted Moisturizer. So I probably have like two uses out of this. I also have some primers. I have the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. And this is what I'm wearing today. I actually really, really like it. Um, it felt a little greasy on my face, but after I applied my foundation and kind of see my face um, after the makeup's been applied. I actually really like this. And for my eyes I have the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless Primer. And I chose those because um, they're samples so I just wanted to get rid of them. Next we're going to move on to concealers. I have the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer. This is in light. Uh, 2 to 3.5. This has been a long time discontinued concealer and actually this was one of my first concealers that I ever purchased so I want to get rid of it. I have this um, under my eyes and as a spot concealer on my face. Next I have this little Confessions of a Concealaholic by Benefit and it comes with a little erase paste. This is in uh, medium and I have this underneath my eyes as well. And I have about half of the jar left, but you really only need a little bit. This is going to actually last me quite a while. Um, and then in this little kit also comes uh, two Boing concealers. This is light and medium and lemonade and an eye brightener. For face powder, I just have one. It is the e.l.f. Uh, Complexion Perfection Powder. As you can see, I have hit major pan on this and I'm close to finishing it. Then I have one bronzer and it is the CoverGirl Cheekers Bronzer. This is in Golden Tan. As you can see, I've also hit major pan on this. This is this was my very first bronzer when I started collecting makeup a couple years ago. So um, yeah, this needs to go. And for blushes, I have two. The first one is the CoverGirl 
Cheekers Blush in Natural Twinkle, as you can tell. Also hit pan on this. Uh, this was my very first blush when I started collecting makeup, so this also needs to be used up. And the other blush I have is one from Urban Decay. This is called Score. Um, it is a really pretty peachy blush. I think they have since uh, repackaged, possibly reformulated their blushes, and I think their blushes are now bigger. But I believe they still have um, this shade. Okay, for highlighters, I have a few. Uh, the first one is a sample of the Strobe Cream um, from MAC. And I have this on my cheekbones. I applied it before I applied my foundation. Next one is the Victoria's Secret Luminous Highlighting Powder in Starlit. This was limited edition, and I have this on top of my cheekbones as well. And then I also have two uh, cream concealers from Victoria's Secret. These are also limited edition quite a few years ago. Uh, first one is in Golden Sands, and this is just a pretty bronze color. And the next one is in Desert Twilight, and this is a pinky color. For eyebrows, I only have one product. This is the uh, Wet n Wild uh, Ultimate Brow Kit. If you watched my favorites video, my February favorites video, you will have seen this in there. And this is the one that I've been using lately, and it's the only brow product that I've hit pan on. I don't have very many, uh, but I just decided to go ahead and continue using this. And to set my brows, I have the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. I have gone through many of these tubes. Um, this is the only, like, clear setting brow thing I have, so um, I just threw this in there as well. For mascaras, I have two. They are both from uh, Chroma Beauty or Kardashian Beauty. Uh, the first one is Stroke of Midnight, and I have a blog post on um, my blog, and I review this on there with some pictures, so I will link that down below. And the next one also from uh, Kardashian Beauty, and this is called The Quickie. Oh, and I'm wearing this one today, as well as wearing these brow products. The two eyeliners that I have in this month's little basket is one from e.l.f. and this is just black. This is from the $1 line. And this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And then the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, I think this is a, a brown. It's in 868, I think. Then I have a couple of cream shadows. Uh, first one is a sample from Urban Decay. Uh, top one is in Midnight Rodeo and the bottom one is in Delinquent. I have a shadow base from Too Faced. I don't know if they still have this, but this is called First Base. It's a pretty, um, like, gold sheen. And then I have two cream duos from e.l.f. This is from their $1 line. Uh, this one here is in Mocha Swirl, and I am wearing the, the taupe shade here. And this one is in Butter Pecan. Okay, and as far as eyeshadow goes, um, I have a few samples from uh, the She Space or About Face Cosmetics. I think they um, have long shut down their store, so I'm not going to show you the specific colors just because I don't think you can get them anymore. But anyway, I have about six or seven little uh, baggy samples and then two little samples that I've put into jars. Sticking with pigments, I have my only two MAC pigments here. This one is in Lovely Lily, and this one is Off the Radar. I got these at the CCO a couple of years ago, um, so I wanted to start using these up as well. Then I have four uh, quads from e.l.f. These are the $1 quads. I am wearing this one here, and this is in Lux. I also have uh, Day Tonight. Uh, this one is in Butternut Couch. And this one is in Silver Lining. Then I have two CoverGirl quads. Um, this one is in Drama Eyes. 
and this one and this one is in Tropical Fusion. And I am gonna give props to uh, Emily Noel 83 for these two purchases. Um, I started, she was actually the very first uh, YouTube guru that I started watching way back when, like five, maybe six years ago. Um, and I remember that these were two of her favorites. So um, I really actually do enjoy these quads and I cannot wait to continue to use them. Next, I have three Maybelline quads. Um, these are the old ones before they refor reformulated them. I have Emerald Smokes, Amethyst Smokes, and Sapphire Ice. Then I have two quads from Prescriptives. Um, they no longer exist, I don't think. Um, but I have this one here, and this one here. And finally, for eyeshadows, I have um, some from Elizabeth Arden. I got these in a little kit uh, way long ago. Uh, so it comes with these four here. Oh, I'm blinding you. I'm blinding you. These four here and then a blush and a highlighter. And it also comes with a little secondary tray with, again, four eyeshadows, a blush, and a highlighter. And lastly, I have a bunch of lip products. Like, hello. Um, I... Out of my whole makeup collection, I think that uh, lips are the easiest for me to uh, wear and to buy. So I have an insane amount of lipsticks and lip glosses. It is ridiculous. So I picked up some of the ones that I've had for a while and these bad boys need to be used up. So let's get started. I have one from MAC. This is the Lip Gelée in Resort Life. This was from the Venomous Villain, Villains Collection. Uh, MAC Luster Glass in Ensign. This was from a Christmas set like a couple years ago. I have two Victoria's Secret ones that are um, from little collections that are now discontinued. Uh, rosy pink and soft pink. I've got a couple from NYX. These are the Diamond Sparkle Glosses. This one is in Rose Sparkle and this one is in Copper Sparkle. I have the Rose Sparkle on the center of my lower and upper lip. I have a few uh, chapsticks. Uh, soft Lips in Pearl and in Serene. I am wearing Pearl on the very bottom of my lip combo here. This is what I use to moisturize my lips. And then I also have two from Nivea, a Kiss of Flavor. This one is in Passion Fruit, and this one is in Cherry. I also have a couple of Elizabeth Arden lipsticks that I got in the same collection as those eyeshadows. Uh, this one is in Lush Red, and it's a really pretty brick red color. This one is in Desert Rose, and this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And this one is in Soft Rose, and this is more of a brown neutral. And I also have um, some more MAC luster glasses and lip glasses um, from the same collection as the other one I showed you here, as this one. Um, colors are Poetic License. Morning Glory, and L. I also have some squeezy tubes, one from NYX in Cinnamon. This one's from Sephora, this is called Precious Pink. Another one from Sephora in Bronze Beauty. Yet another one from Sephora in Rosy Glow. A little sample of the Pexi Gloss from Hard Candy, this is in Genie and a elf super glossy lip shine this is in pink kiss and one from express this one is in sweet fizz i also have uh, a maybelline lipstick in warm me up 
This one is in Petal. This one is from NYC. One that's similar to that is called Chiffon. This one's also from NYC. I have two from MAC. This one is a Slimshine Lipstick and Gentle Simmer. This one has been long discontinued. As well as this one, this is Lollipop Loving. Uh, this one is also discontinued. This was from um, some collection like way back when. I've got one from NYX. This is in Power. It's one of their round lipsticks. This is from Victoria's Secret. It is in Grace. I believe this one's discontinued as well. And last, last lipstick I have is from Wet n Wild. This one is in 922 and it's just a pretty pink color. Lastly, I only have a few more lip glosses to show you. Um, this one is from e.l.f. It is the Luscious Liquid Lipstick. This is in Baby Lips. Another e.l.f. one, this is the Hyper Shine Gloss in Fairy. One from Wet n Wild, this is just a clear gloss. One from Elizabeth Arden, this is in Berry Licious. Lip gloss from LA Colors. Uh, this is in, oh, this one does not have the name of the color on here. These are actually one of my favorites. This is, I don't know what it is in. In Dreamy Pink, I think it is. I don't know, don't remember. This is an NYC Liquid Lip Shine in, aha, Sun Gold Pink. I don't know, I think these are discontinued as well. This one was one of my first lip glosses. A little sample from Victoria's Secret. This is in Hottie. A e.l.f. plumping lip glaze in, oh yeah, no, Fire Coral. One from MAC, this is Perennial High Style, this is a lip glass. And last, but most definitely not least, a NYX lip gloss in uh, 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 Silver Plum. So, I don't know how long this video is, it's probably a bajillion minutes long, but I said I was only going to show you some. I ended up show you, showing you all of the products that I have in this drawer of everything that I'm going to be using in the next month or so. I'm actually quite excited that I'm doing this with my collection because I have a lot and I need to use things that I have not used in a while and things that are close to being finished that just need to go. Don't forget to comment down below, like this video, and subscribe for more and I'll see you all next time. Bye!